Goins. Hi, Ashley Murphy. How are you? The other day I saw this email come through from you. It said that you needed, I need your help with my next book. And in parentheses, it said, seriously. Well, I took the time and I read the email and I actually took action on what you were asking. For anyone who's just maybe standing around listening in, I'll just read them the email. They can understand kind of what we're talking about here. So the email that you sent out, of course, it was addressed to me. You may have heard that my next book, Real Artists Don't Starve, is coming out soon. If you need the book trailer, click here to watch it and please share. Let's let's check out this book trailer here. Let's see if we can watch it together. I like that. I like that green apple. Moving on through the, the rest of the email, it says, this isn't a formal book announcement. That will come later, but that doesn't mean I don't need your help because I do. Here's the deal. I'm tired of how the whole starving artist story has influenced the way creative work is done. Me too. Too many creative people have been robbed of their potential because they believed a lie. But the truth is, you don't have to starve. Today, I'm not asking you to order my book. More on that soon. All I'm asking is for your help in debulking this lie that artists have to starve and suffer for their work. I really believe that and would love your help in spreading the word if you do too. So there are two things you can do today. Go watch the book trailer, which we just did. For or real artists don't starve and click share. This is my way of sharing it here. Okay, so if you have an idea of how to get the word out about this book, maybe it's a friend with a lot of social media followers, a connection with a media outlet, etc. Click here to fill out this form. The first time I read this email, I did click on that form and I did fill it out. Let's just click on it again. It's as simple as this. Real artists don't starve. Think tank. I filled out everything. I put my email address, my first name. What else does it say? Are you involved in a community of market artists, creatives who the book would be great for? Do you know anyone who works in media, podcasts, blogs, media outlet, etc.? What blog, podcast should real artists don't starve target? What are your book launch and marketing ideas? And I filled out. I don't remember my exact words, but I gave you a piece of my story of back years ago whenever I attended college, which was 20 years ago. I wanted to major in art, but my mom wouldn't let me. Well, I say it wouldn't let me. She really tried to encourage me to take a different path because she told me artists don't make any money and so I believed it I believed it and I went a different path in which that path ended up being a great learning experience for me I had a lot of great opportunities I went through the dental assistant program and I learned a lot through that and it came out that I ended up even starting a family during that time it was a great source of income I worked as soon as I got done with school I landed me a job two weeks later I learned a lot through that process of working in a dental office to the fact that I actually ended up being an office manager, something that no one ever dreamed that I would be doing um, because just my personality growing up and when I was in school, I was just kind of shy and didn't really step up to the plate for a lot of things. I just kind of stood back and did my own thing. So anyway, it was kind of like my, my forte. It was my niche to be front and center and to answer those phone calls coming in and to handle the business, to work the flow of patients coming in and out. It was more my thing to be an office manager than it was to actually be a dental assistant, what I went to school for. Time went on and I was working in that 
dental office and I still had in the back of my mind, I didn't go to school to be an artist. And, but I always knew that that was still in the back of my mind and I was raising this family and time went on and I ended up with some health issues. I battled liver cancer at 23 years old. I, you know, got past that and actually ended up having a second child, which was recommended by my doctors not to do so. Miraculously somehow did, the good Lord blessed me with a second child. Once that child en entered this world and I was working those long hours in the dental office, it became very apparent to me one day that it was time for me to come home from the outside work world. I would come home and stay home with my youngest daughter who was nine months at the time. So I gave up my outside work world job. While I was working in a dental office, I was doing wedding photography on the side as a creative expressive outlet, which was a great source. Again, it was something else that I was front and center of and most people couldn't believe that I would get up there and I would do that thing and I would handle the pressures of being under the pressure of being responsible for creating beautiful photography for people's special days. It was something that I actually really, really enjoyed and made a lot of great money at. As time went on and I came home from the dental office, I still was doing the wedding photography as a side, but as time went on, I started painting and getting more into what I would call the true artwork as a child that I remember just longing, wanting to do and started selling a few pieces here and there. So it, it's like, I mean, that was 13 years ago. So like I'm having to, to kind of think back for a minute on all of it because I was such a baby of it back then and I was still learning the process of, of being at home out of the work world learning how to be a mom again to another child everybody was at school and work and here I was at home with this nine month old and I'm beginning the writing process of a book that I felt that the Lord placed on my heart I ended up publishing that book and it was about my journey through liver cancer I talked a little bit about you know, not going to school for being an artist and stuff so there I had wedding photography as a creative outlet I was writing as a creative outlet Outlet, but I also was painting. Time moved on and I was doing all this kind of stuff. The wedding photography brought great money in. Swinging through the different seasons of life, it came to the point that on those Saturdays, I was away from all my daughter's soccer events. So I had to set the camera on the shelf and that was extremely hard for me to do. It wasn't long after that, I walked through some what I call depression and so it was like the Lord was looking ahead for me to prepare me that I wouldn't have weddings on the book as I walked through that about two years into that depression I started the writing of my second book which was just released last summer all of that is 13 years worth of compilations of my different creative outlets and processes but I didn't go to school to get a college degree for it like I wanted to years ago but was encouraged not to because I would starve well I have had some creative outlets it's opportunities that I didn't start with, like the ones I just talked about with wedding photography. I will tell you that since I set the camera on the shelf and I went to finishing up with the release of my first book and then moving on to writing my second book and just releasing it last summer while doing painting and stuff on the sides, I'm going to be very honest with you. I am, you know, dollar sign wise, not the richest whenever it comes to being an artist. Truthfully speaking, my book that I released last summer it's almost like it's the abandoned child it had some sales in the beginning and I didn't push the sales in the markets mainly because I'll be honest with you it didn't take off as well as I thought it would it was easier for me just to slide it under the rug and truck on and move on and do something different I really appreciate you sending the email and I appreciate that I'm being able to have this conversation with you even though I never got a response from me filling out think tank real artists don't starve survey past all that if you have enjoyed my blog or podcast or any of my content, I would love your help in getting the word out about this book. I can't tell you how excited I am for Real Artists Don't Starve. It's been a message I've been sitting on for years. It's finally time to share it. My hope is this is going to make waves in the world and change the way we think about artists forever. Man, me too. I, you know, honestly, I can't wait. Can't wait to read your book. So can I get your help? Will you join me? Gratefully, Jeff. P.S. Soon I'll be sharing my bonuses you can get if you pre-order the book. But if you want to go ahead and order the book now, you'll still be eligible for the bonuses when they arrive. P.P.S. If you 
you know anyone would be interested real artists don't starve please forward this email to them thanks i'm so glad that really like you reached out to us and asking for our help for your next book and even to title it and label it seriously but i will tell you this actually was the second time that i hadn't heard back from you i believe it was maybe even spring of last year you were looking for you sent out a kind of a similar survey and were asking some questions about particular artists and how well they've done and not done and i never heard a word back me as a creative person I'll be honest with you. I mean, I've got followers, but I don't have a lot. I've been in the writing industry and the book industry long enough to know that you've got to have boo koodles and amples of boo koodles before anybody will even connect with you or will even consider looking at your writing or for that matter, publish a book. But my point is, like I said, I've been involved in the writing realm for a while and I've done different workshops and connected with different workers and even a member of Compel Writers Group with Lisa Turkhurst. And so so I sit and I listen to all that information and that knowledge and realize that these agents and publishing houses and stuff are looking for big numbers. My guess would be that's kind of what you were looking for in this message that you sent out. That if someone had like a big media outlet could just explode your information and stuff. And that's all good. There are some people out there like me who are a small writer or a small photographer or a small artist who's social media list or email list is not way long that may just be a little smaller but it comes to a point like me personally I've reached out to different people through the years on more than one occasion trying to collaborate with them to be able to gain that foot to be able to gain that platform I've done all the writing a blog posting consistently all the different things that are encouraged to do and market on social media and yet have you. my platform and my numbers just don't prove but I still think that I should be given an opportunity maybe next time I look at someone who's not high up and doesn't have high numbers because I'm just as excited for you on that book as someone who does and you never know I mean I may reach five people and then those five people may reach ten and then those ten may reach however many more and it can you know, pyramid out from there it comes a time that we need to kind of, you know, connect with those who may not have the largest numbers because their words and their calling in life is just as important as someone who does. This is me and this is my way of being able to share with the world, even though I didn't get a response from filling out your little survey. Whenever you ask for my my help on your book and that you were serious about it. Well, I'm serious about helping you. I'm actually very, very pumped about your book coming out and I hope that it reaches, you know, tons and tons of people in great strides and has a great message behind it because I know that I'll be reading it. I really believe that and would love your help in spreading the word. To do so, you can do two things. Go watch the trailer and share it, which I just shared it. So I think anybody listening in on me and you talking here can, you know, will have heard that. So if if you have an idea how to get the word out about this book maybe it's a friend this is my way of getting the message out about your book again I appreciate you you know reaching out and wanting my, my help for your book getting out there anybody listening in on mine and Jeff's conversation here you can be on the lookout for real artists don't starve real artists don't starve um, by Jeff Goins have an awesome day Jeff it was great it was great talking to you so my PS it's not always about the dollar sign. Yeah, I want this huge platform, and yes, I want these huge followers, and I want this big book deal, and I would love to have a big dollar sign behind it. I mean, who who wouldn't? I mean, that way we would have some retirement to look forward to. I, I have grown so much as a person through these 13 years and plus that I would say that I've really horned in on my crafting artwork no matter which way I was you know expressing myself and it's just been such a great journey it's not always about the dollar sign there's so much joy and freedom and expression and relaxation that I personally have grown as a person and the people that I've connected with and the experiences that I've had and the lives that I've touched that honestly 
no dollar sign can be put on it. So whenever I filled out the survey, that's that's what I kind of put on there. Maybe not in that quite of details, but that was my gift of it, is that even though I was told years ago that artists didn't make a lot of money, yeah, in some sense, they don't. There's so much more to it. Not everybody is going to be able to just horn in and get that big dollar sign, but there's more to being an artist, per se, than just being someone who carries a lot of money around in their bank because they've gained all these followers and they have this gigantic platform. <laughs> okay, so you also had a PS, no, PPPS. So my PPS would be that really would be not just for you, so to speak, but would maybe kind of be some good knowledge for you to listen to. But it's really gonna be more for anyone viewing this video. For this is my time and my journey sharing, you know, the information that I was asked to share by you, Jeff. It's for any artist out there, no matter what your creative process is or what your outlet is of whatever medium you pick, whether it be writing, photography, painting, dancing, playing a musical instrument, and the list goes on. My encouragement is you don't have to starve as an artist, dollar sign or not. Yeah, that's always great. But my encouragement to you is no matter your age, you know, where you are on your journey in life, it's never too late or too early to start. You may work on it a little bit. You may put it down for a year or two. You may pick it back up. You may even gain and strengthen in something else. But my encouragement is don't ever hold back in your creative process even if it's cooking always push forward in it and let that be your expressive outlet because you will find that joy and you will not starve dollar sign or not you will not starve the good lord has a plan and a purpose for you and he wants you to step up and be able to shine a light into the world through your creative process and your journey so my encouragement is for you to press forward no matter where you are if you you write on a blog and nobody ever comments on it if you post on social media all the time and nobody ever writes a comment or clicks like if you have a YouTube channel and nobody ever views it or comments or shares don't don't stop somebody out there is watching somebody out there is reading continue your learning process because there's always something new for us to learn no matter what we're doing whether we're writing photography whether we're cooking or playing a music Musical instrument there's always that time to grow and learn and that's where we grow as a person that then we can tie it in to the different areas of our life where we grow spiritually or grow in our marriage or being a great parent or a sister or an aunt so my encouragement is to you that yes you as an artist don't have to start so I hope that you press forward no matter where you are on your journey because I'm here to cheer you on today you know continue on don't you know if you've always had that little nudge of some creativity in your life don't hold back if you're home with small children don't hold back I wrote my first book my first book daddy's briefcase my journey through liver cancer at home with a two-year-old and we would sit in a chair in my bedroom and she would watch Lion King on a blue DVD player and that's where I wrote my book or while she was down for a nap even like how I just spoke with Jeff earlier in this video and talked about a little depression that I walked through and then I moved on in to writing my second book I easily could have backed away and backed down because I was walking through that depression. I could have stayed even more depressed, but I'm here to tell you, I kept hearing the sweet Lord whispering in my ear. I didn't want to write another book. I'm going to be honest with you. I did, didn't want to write another book. Yet alone, I even wrote a fiction. I don't even like fiction. I don't read fiction really. I mean, I have and I will, but I'm more of a non-fiction kind of girl. I love reading non-fiction. I love watching true like stories and movies and that's I don't really care to be watching fiction stories through my journey of writing that book the Lord used that time even though I was so weak and my mind some days couldn't even settle and I just feel like I was digging up out of this dark hole he used that time to heal my soul and to speak life into me to where one day and any day that's already passed that people read my book I feel like he's whispering sweet words 
in their ear and refreshing their soul just like he did mine. So no matter where you are on your journey of creativity, we are all creative beings and we don't have to starve. There's so much joy to life than an actual dollar sign. I encourage you, no matter where you are, to push forward and express yourself because you will bring a true light to the world and you will be who you are supposed to be and you will have the opportunities to share your life and share the good Lord word and bring life to others and refresh their soul so I hope you have an awesome day and always push forward because you are not gonna starve maybe we should start with two now let's peel the stickers off Sure. Maybe we should Google how to juggle apples. <laughs> oh, I mean, maybe we stick to two. Okay. Okay. I can do two. Oh, we're getting somewhere. Cool. Have a busted open apple. There you have it. <laughs> Three apples.